Hello, welcome to my channel or welcome back. My name is Arita and in today's video we're going to be spending a day being that girl. I would say I am quite far from being that girl. I definitely don't follow the that girl routine every single day but I thought it could be quite fun to try it out and see what it's all about. In the Urban Dictionary, that girl is defined as a girl or any gender that gets up at 5 a.m., meditates, drinks smoothies, has showers every day, journals, eats only healthy food, goes to the gym every day and is successful in many ways. That's quite a lot of things. Now I must confess I've already failed at the first hurdle because I didn't wake up early this morning. My body just needed a little bit of rest so I listened to it and I slept that few extra hours and I feel so good for it. I am thinking of going on a little walk. I want to do the hot girl summer walk and get my headphones in and just listen to a podcast. I am really wanting to listen to one of Emma Chamberlain's new podcasts. Let's start our that girl routine by doing a meditation. I am going on my Aura app, which you guys will probably have heard me talk about, but if you're new here, I love Aura. <laughs> it's basically an app that is designated for things like breathwork practices, meditations, work wellness, sounds, life coaching, music, emotion stories, like so much, there's so much on the app. This isn't sponsored, I have previously worked with them before though. I'm going to go on the app and I'm going to pick a meditation. I think I'm going to go for the power of now, which is a six minute meditation. And it's this one here. Without judging right or wrong, good or bad, the power of now is to be witness to the present moment. I am actually such a sucker when it comes to like oracle cards or like guidance cards or fortune cards just I just love a deck of cards and I don't know why I've just always had like a little thing for them they're just so fun and I love sort of having a question in my mind and seeing if the cards can give me any advice. A wee while back my mom actually had bought me a deck these are the daily guidance from your angels oracle cards so i sometimes like to give them a little shuffle see what card falls out and i would ask a question if i have a question for the day or i would just see what my card for the day is i guess so i thought we could do them together so i basically just literally shuffle and whichever falls out that is like the card for the day I'm now on my second tea of the day. If you know me, you will know I do not drink tea. Like, I am not a tea person. To be fair, I'm not actually a hot drinks person. Like, when it comes to coffee, I'm always iced. But as of recently, something in me has switched and I have been craving tea like nothing before. I honestly have like three to four cups a day, which is like bizarre considering Two months ago, I did not have a tea addiction. And now, we are on the second one of the day. 
Anyway, there is nothing I love more than a to-do list and ticking things off. So I'm grabbing my book that I normally write my to-do lists in. This one is has like different sections for like water intake, my mood, sleep, my goals for the day, schedule, things like that. And I find it super handy. So I'm going to write my list in here. I actually have quite a few things to get done today. I've got two UGC videos to film and I am basically going away to measure like a massive new job tomorrow with my work. If you don't know where I work, I am a junior interior designer at a company in Edinburgh and I'm thoroughly enjoying it but tomorrow's quite a big day so I just have to like prep for some things for that and I think I'm going to be taking measurements on my iPad so I just need to get all the drawings that we have of the property onto my iPad and get my like pencil charged and stuff so I'm all prepared but I need to get that organized anyway I'm gonna write my to-do list and then we can get started list is ready Anyway, let's talk interior design. I feel like some of you probably are subscribed to my channel since those interior design days and I basically started my channel talking about interior design at university and talking about my projects and my portfolios. I had one of my friends Joanna come onto my channel as well. Since graduating two years ago, I can't believe it's been two years that's crazy. I have not spoken about interior design on my channel or to be fair I haven't really been interested in going into that career. I graduated and I just wasn't in love with it. I had done previous placements and work experiences and companies in Edinburgh but I just didn't feel like it was what I wanted to do. So I started doing YouTube which is amazing like I fell in love with it and I started doing little side hustle jobs. I actually felt really like conflicted and confused about life because I just felt like I didn't have a goal I didn't have like something that inspired me I didn't know what I wanted to do it was very overwhelming fast forward two years in January 2023 I received an email from one of my lecturers at uni basically with this big email about a job in Edinburgh that was part-time and it was a residential interior design job. I thought you know what this actually suits me really really well because I want to do part-time like I wouldn't want to do full-time. Let's apply for it. Went in for an interview and the next day I got the job. It's now been six months since I started working there and I'm enjoying my day-to-day more and more like I am so happy I got promoted but anyway I will finish this ramble off I just wanted to give you like a little life update of what's been happening and yeah just fill you in because I feel like some of you are still here from my interior design days they're back I really want to do more day in the life as an interior designer videos and things like that but I am very new still to the company and I don't want to be like walking in the office with a camera so maybe in another six months or I don't know we'll see we'll see how we get on but it could be fun Now that I have finished my to-do list for the day, I'm just going to chill here with a book for 20 to 30 minutes, just unwind and relax. I apologise if you can hear my cat eating, <laughs> he's so loud. But before we start making dinner, I wanted to very quickly show you my overnight oats recipe because I've had one recipe that I've loved for such a long time and I thought I would share with you. So the ingredients I have here, obviously I've just got some oats, I've got some normal, some skimmed milk, you can use milk alternative if you prefer. I've also got some Greek style yogurt, honey, vanilla extract, and chia seeds. 
So that is all you need. And you basically just combine it all in a little drawer and I put this in the fridge overnight. In the morning, I do like to add berries on top as well as a little bit of cinnamon and cashew butter. Quarter cup of Greek yogurt. Roughly one tablespoon of chia seeds. One tablespoon of honey quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract I am now going to make my dinner and relax for the evening but I thought I should end the video here and just say thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to hit that like button down below it makes the biggest difference for my channel and whilst you're down there make sure you are subscribed we are so close to 20,000 subscribers which is just mental you behind the screen make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button i can see what percentage of my viewers are subscribed and what percentage aren't and i can tell you something like 80 something percent are not subscribed so make sure you are hitting that button if you're enjoying the content thank you for watching and i shall see you next sunday at 4 p.m with a brand new wellness and lifestyle video